policymakers and donor organizations, they're trying to do their best with enabling environment, but the, the youth are developing those innovative solutions that we hear. So how can we ensure that their voice, their knowledge and experiences are heard and become part of the solution? Policymakers need to identify youth that have shown an interest in agricultural policy, youth that have shown an interest in trying to create these differences, and they should meaningfully include them along the whole policy process. So you've been doing a lot of work about how to transform this into reality. And recently, USAID has released the Feed the Future Project Design Guide for Youth Inclusive Agriculture and Food Systems. One of the main focuses of the guide came out that we need to be actively engaging youth. And if we're not having meaningful participation, then we're not going to be able to design programs that resonate with youth and meet their needs and their interests. And so a way to do that is that we need to be doing more youth analysis um, and going out and talking to youth and finding out what they want to do. What needs to be in place to ensure that that empowerment actually happens? I think partnership is very important. Um, and treating youth as partners as well, not just as beneficiaries, is very important. A lot of the times we talk about, oh, let's you know have youth engagement and how let's ask them what they think as beneficiaries about the, the, the program, but why don't engage them as partners to to get to you know the end goal that we all want? I actually prefer calling donors partners, yeah, because when we you should not look at us as if we are actually being helped. This I even tell to our governments. Don't look at the young people as if you're helping them. You are actually, we are a very, very huge resource in terms of contributing towards the economic progress of our countries. And we've proved this through the projects that we do. I think we together across generations, across donors, across glo uh, global, local, must unlock youth potential by investing in their needs but also, really importantly, meaningfully engaging them. We have all talked about issues of policies, issues of M&D, issues of partnership, issues of coordination. What I would like to add, let's budget it. What doesn't get budgeted doesn't, doesn't. get implemented. <laughs> Thank you.